and the fact that you're doing it for yourself and you've even made the decision and paid your deposit and you are here is So before we actually jump into the video, I wanted to share with you guys, I currently have on a dress that I wore before I got my tummy tuck. So I did a haul back in April of this year. I got my tummy tuck done in August of this year. And I kind of want to just do a side by side if I'm able to, to just kind of compare so you guys can see how far I've come from before and after in the same dress. That way you guys can kind of visualize kind of my journey a little bit. So I'm gonna input that and then we're gonna jump into kind of the things that they don't tell you when you get a tummy tuck. So let me share that with you guys right now. welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am gonna be talking about things that they don't tell you when you get a tummy tuck now I am currently four months officially four months post-op as of tomorrow like amazing I can't believe that it's actually been four months I feel like it went by super fast during the beginning stages it didn't feel like that but now that I look back I'm like wow We've definitely come a long way. So I can only imagine where I will be at the six month mark as well as the one year mark. And I definitely, I feel like those are huge um, marks, you know, within your tummy tuck journey. So I definitely will be sharing my six month as well as my one year mark with you guys. But today we are going to be focusing on things that you honestly don't know until you walk through the journey. And I feel like they are somewhat important um especially if you're kind of walking into this journey and you have so many questions you're a little scared you're not really sure what to expect besides the typical things that you see in everybody's videos so i'm gonna jump into mine and go ahead and get started so one of the first things that i did not know i knew that when you get a tummy tuck you're going to be swollen of course obviously you just had major surgery done to your body so you're gonna be swollen but for me to currently be at the four month mark and I am still when I am out of my faha which technically I don't even have to wear at this point but I choose to wear it because my body has gotten so used to being in it 24 7 to you know less and less throughout my day like typically if I'm gonna go run errands then I don't wear my faha I tried to at first but it was so hard to cover up in an outfit and you're so excited like now that you have a flat tummy you're like man I'm trying to wear yeah, a you know wear a cute little top cute little pants and that's what it is so you know at first I was in my faha 24 7 then you would see me in it the second half of my day especially if I go run errands but right when I come back into the house from running my errands I am back in my faha because it feels so I can't even explain it but it feels so tight like your stomach feels like it's about to bust and it just feels so much comfortable like your faha is your safety blanket so I would definitely say four months in I cannot believe that Wearing my faja is still a thing. Being swollen is still a thing, which I mean, you hear about it, but it's different when you're going through it. Um, so that is huge for me. One of my other biggest things is that your the top of your vagina, your you know where your pubic hair, the top part, when you look down, that part is swollen. The top of my vagina was swollen for so long, you guys. That may be TMI, but seriously, it's something that you don't even think about. You don't even hear people talking about at all. And for the longest, I can't even explain it. It was just swollen. So at the three-month mark, I decided to go. I used to get waxes every single month like clockwork. So for three months, I did not get a wax. And when I tell you that first time going in for a wax was the most, I almost cried on that table. It was the most painful wax I have ever had in my life because that, that top part is so close to your stomach where you just had major surgery where, you know, for me, I also had a hernia repair. So getting my tummy flattened on top of getting a hernia repair, just so much going on. 
my stomach, you know, the swollenness also kind of went down into the top of my vagina area, which caused the most painful wax I have ever had. So be prepared to, you know, when you go in for that next wax, that wax pending your tummy tuck, it is very painful, but you will get through it. And now I'm kind of back on track. Things are normal. Like I said, we've hit the four month mark. So I've had two waxes so far. The second wax felt normal, perfectly fine. But that first one was hell. Um, so just be aware of that, you know. Also, you are going to be so tired. You, maybe you work, maybe you don't work, but there's just going to be days where you're like, man, I'm just so tired. And you may not even connect it with having your tummy tuck because I remember, I, I think I was about two months in and I'm like, okay, two months, I already had the surgery and here I am still tired. I'm just thinking it's something not even related to the fact that I just had surgery. But the two do intertwine, so it is normal for you to feel tired. It is normal for you to not even feel like yourself. So if you are feeling, you know, kind of down, maybe looking at your tummy and you see that scar because, I mean, it's a big ass scar on your belly. And, you know, for me, I also got my belly button redone. Um, I'll try to insert a picture to what it looked like before. And I also will share with you guys what I'm currently looking like at the end of the video. Um, but, yeah, so... For me, you know, looking at my, my belly button, which is still a little bit dark, and, you know, the scar, it's it's major, but I wouldn't go back and change it because more than anything, I just wanted my tummy to be flat again and to feel like I could wear certain stuff. So, just be aware if you don't feel like yourself, that's perfectly normal. If you are tired, that is okay. For me, I feel like the best advice is to just, when you're feeling tired, just rest. Just rest if you are in the position to be able to do that. Go to bed early, whatever you need to do, but it's perfectly normal and it will pass because now we are four months in and I feel completely normal. I am back to working out and doing things that, you know, starting to feel like myself again. Um, so yeah, definitely don't be so hard on yourself. So one of the biggest things when I got surgery, I'm also going to insert another picture for you guys. So just be aware, it's a little bloody, it's a little intense but I just want you guys to be able to visualize what it is that I'm saying and I mean if you're watching this video you're gonna get a tummy tuck too so I mean you know what it is so here's a picture this picture was when they first took the tape off at this was the day after surgery they ripped it off took the um, I can't even think of the name of it, but your, you know, like the little tube that's inside of you, I cannot think of the name. But they took it out, and I had like these little, you know, bloody looking scars, and I was like, what the hell is that? Like, you know, but I'm just like, you know, we just gonna push through, you know, it is what it is. But I realized I had tape burn from the tape. I didn't know that was a thing. So currently... Like I said at the end, I'm going to show you guys my scar. I have my scar and then I have like a little bit of dark, you know, not a dark spot, but a little bit of something that, a little bit of spot that needs to fade away. And it was from the tape burn. And then when I was taping myself all the time, you know, tape, 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 tape to cover the scar in the beginning, um, I also did it to myself and I didn't realize that was even a thing. So just make sure that you're careful. Make sure that if you get those, you know, you just do not pick at them. It will scab over. Let it scab over. It will fall off and it actually scabs pretty quickly. So let it do its thing. It might leave a little scar, which mine currently has, but it's fine because I know that with time, it's going to be fine because when I had my daughter, my stomach was so dark, you guys. I didn't even know that was a thing. My stomach was pretty much black and it was scary you know because like it wasn't matching my actual skin so I was like what's happening but fast forward you know before even getting the tummy tuck my skin had lightened back up it took about a year for it to just completely lighten so I know with me my scars do lighten it just takes some time so I'm not too worried about it um but yes just be aware that you may get a tape scar um but that's perfectly fine now I think those are mainly my tips for, not tips, but more so kind of things that I wasn't aware of, you know, fast forward to now. But again, I would not go back and change my decision. I'm so grateful to even be in the position to have the tummy tuck done. Um, I have a four-year-old daughter. She's about to be five this year. And it took me a long time to even make the decision. And as you know, as somebody who's even watching this video, how uncomfortable it can be 
to look at yourself in the mirror, you know, without your clothes on and just not feel like yourself because you, you know, had a child, you know, and look at other women and be like, dang, she popped out three and she looks exactly the same. Um, so when I tell you, when you get off of that table and you're like, man, this was rough. Why did I do this? I promise you that it's going to be so worth it. And the fact that you're doing it for yourself and you've even made the decision and paid your deposit and you are here is Hallelujah, it's such a blessing. So yes, be excited, stay excited. And for my journey, my four month update, I have actually just got cleared to be able to work out. So now I'm able to hit the gym and lift. Let me let me clarify because I do work out now. I run and I do um, Fitness Blender on, that's what I say, Netflix. On YouTube, I do those videos. I never did abs. I would only do like booty, lower body, stay away from abs, stay away from anything that could mess up the thousands of dollars of work that I just had done. So that's what I was doing. Now I've got clear to be able to lift, slowly like get back into lifting, which is definitely something I'm super excited about. So that's the next step in my journey. My um, doctor did say that I no longer have to be in the faha. Honestly, again, like I said, my stomach has gotten so used to it. It's kind of like a security blanket. Um, when I've been out of it for so long. So I'll probably continue to keep wearing it, especially at night. It just feels so much better when I'm trying to sleep. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, what I'm doing seems to be working for me and my results look pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it up. Other than that, I'm no longer taking any teas. I'm not taking any sort of medicine, anything like that. My stomach is pretty flat. Before I had surgery, I didn't have a lot of skin uh, but I did have enough to be removed so I currently just feel like what I'm doing is working for me I'm going to start lifting again I'm no longer taking the medications no longer doing any of that I don't feel like it's necessary at this point because like I said what I'm doing is working um, other than that I actually Mederma I was using Mederma and I was using bio oil the Mederma honestly I don't feel like it worked I you know the reviews were great but for me it just wasn't it wasn't giving what it needed to give honestly so I stopped using that I'm currently still using the bio oil just because it just it I just feel like I should um other than that I'm also actually using this let me grab it I started using shea butter and this actually is, it's like a little mini shea butter. I actually get it from the beauty supply and it has lemon in it. So I'm going to show you guys. It's kind of thick. Like you can see it's like thick like that. But I actually rub this on my scar and on my belly button and it smells like lemon. It smells so good, but I just thought this would probably be good because shea butter is good for moisturizing as well as having the lemon in there. I felt like that would be good for brightening my skin. And I use my bio oil. I also still use tapes such as this, um, like the scar tape. I cut mine so mine are like cut into three pieces so it can go along my scar just like this. And I just tape it on my scar I usually do that overnight and then in the morning I put my oils on, go throughout my day because I do work out and things like that. And then back at night, you know, I'm about to take my shower again, I go ahead and put this back on. And I believe these last for about two weeks, so I put it on, then on to the next. I'm actually on my last one, so I need to purchase more. Other than that, I did used to, when I was belly button training, I know previously I spoke on belly button training. And I no longer do that anymore. What I was starting to realize was that my, my belly button was only going to go so deep. Now, I think that's probably because of, you know, the way that my doctor made my belly button. But when I think back, my belly button before having my daughter really wasn't that deep. And I had a any slash Audi, which is currently what I have. But it's coming together. And, you know, once I stopped training, it started to kind of do its own thing. And honestly, it's not, it didn't close up. It's looking really good, but I used to use this. I would take a earplug, you know, the squishy earplugs, cut it, and use the bottom half of the earplug, pop it in my belly button, and then I would take this. I would take this off. This is actually cut, but you get the point. My hands are a little greasy, but I would take this off and then pop this over the belly button and just tape it on there like that. 
The only thing I did not like with this, this would keep it in place, but I felt like it was making my belly button dark. Like my belly button was able to breathe and I felt like it was making the skin darker than what it should have been. So I'm currently trying to fix that. So I no longer use these and I'm just letting my belly button just do its own thing. Again, it's not closing up. It's looking good. It's still kind of dark and it's perfectly fine because like I said, I know my body enough to know that it does do that. So yeah. Other than that, that's kind of my update. I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking like. I don't know why I put on this dress, considering that I need to show you guys my belly, but I'm going to do that right now. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to quickly show you guys what my stomach is looking like at four months. I am, like I said, don't mind it being dirty over here, but my belly button is a little bit dark, considering how I was training my belly button and... On top of it, it's been four months, but it's just going to take a second to lighten up, and my belly button was actually reconstructed. I also have a little bit of stretch mark right in this area. Before, I'll insert a picture, my belly had stretch marks all around it. My tattoo has actually come down. It wasn't this far low, but it is what it is. Um, also, when I pull my, you know, hands down so I can show you guys my scar, um, my scar goes you know, straight, straight across. Um, I do have a line that actually goes up a little bit because I did not have enough skin to be able to take off and pull all the way down. So he had to, you know, figure it out. Um, if you Google, there actually are um, people who have a scar that goes up and, you know, goes across. So it's definitely nothing to be alarmed about. Um, he didn't tell me that before I went under, so I was very much unaware. But, you know, it is what it is. We're here. Um, but it's enough if I pulled my pants down and these are my underwear. Um, it goes over it. The little bit of scar does poke out. But I'm hoping that with um, some time and everything lightening up that it will be perfectly fine. I am loving it. If I can kind of show you guys from the side, this is what it looks like. It's very flat. I'm going to insert a picture of what I look like from the side at first. So, you know... She's on flat, flat. Super cool. Love the way that I'm looking. Um, I couldn't be any more grateful. I'm not really a fan of the scar right here, but honestly, I understand why it's there. And I'm hoping, like I said, with time that it will lighten up. But overall, my results are looking pretty good. I have been out of my Faja for about, let's see, eight hours almost going on nine hours so I'm definitely feeling pretty tight right in this area so I'm gonna hop back in my faha um so technically I should be more like this but I'm like this I should be like that but it's okay because I'm feeling the swelling so again I am working out doing the things that I need to do trying to eat right even though I'm currently making some cookies but it's okay um but yeah if you guys have any questions please let me know and I will see you guys in my next videos regarding the updates Bye, guys.